All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duel. So, we are joined by Alexis. Hey, everybody. And uh, playing them Herotics, and we're going against a deck that I've seen plenty of times. And this just proves that even if you, no matter how many hits you do to Burning Abyss, the, this, uh, there'll always be a form of this rank 3 mill PK bullshit because Dante is at 3. Like, you can hit the Burning Abyss all you want, but as long as you keep Dante at 3, there will always be something with him. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> My friend's playing a deck like this. He's playing PK Fluffles. So he'll mill like uh, bear and fluffle anyone? wings and pot toy vendor and. Yeah, so as long... I kind of like my Care Bears. Yep, yep, yep. So it's like you don't even need to have freaking. Oh, yes. yep. Dante, as long as Dante's at three, you always have shit like this. Look at that. Three, 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 three. <laughs> It's not, it's not, it's not Burning Abyss who are OP, it's Dante who's OP, but it seems like TCD doesn't want to hit him, let Dante forever be at three. Well, let's see if I can banish it. That'd be nice. Even though, wait, why, why banish it? It's not like he has anything to grab back, does he? Yeah, since there's no Burning Abyss, it's not like Dante's going to grab anything back. You just kill him. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Well, you, first you just, I gotta uh... see if I can find a way to use this hand, because I... I kind of opened up a bad hand. Mm. You're just so used to seeing Dante yeah. played in Burning Abyss. <laughs> I mean, in Burning Abyss, he's of course fantastic. It'd be a good Dante, hand if he didn't have to be in Burning Abyss. It'd be a good hand if I had the ability to perform a ritual summon because I have great Sorcerer of the Necros in my hand. Okay, playing Necros. Okay. But yeah, like my friend was like, Special summon Terra Top, summon Taka Time Boy Gun, Dante Mill, summon a uh, card trooper mill, Machine Doom, summon the other card trooper mill, exit those two into Dante Mill. Like, did you just mill 15 cards in one turn? Like, yes. Like, okay. All right. <laughs> wow, you That's drew. That's totally fair, everybody. Yep, you drew the Garnet. <laughs> I run two Garnets, but uh, it still hurts. Yep. <laughs> At least it's not that one Garnet. <laughs> I did try running one Garnet, but every time I ran one Garnet, it felt like I opened it up every game without fail. <gasps> what? It's like so. It's like number generator or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't do it. Watch is... if I. Watch if I. Oh, we're. Oh. Okay, so we're fighting K Fire and Gem Knight. Oh. Mega Capital G would be proud. Yeah. It's actually legitimately Gem Knights, not just Brilliant Fusion dot deck. <laughs> Brilliant Fusion thrown into any deck. Oh my god. Everything. Look at the bright side. If he plays Brilliant Fusion, at least we won't feel somewhat cheated this time because his deck actually is meant to use it. Everything is popping up. <laughs> I apologize. I still didn't log off on Discord. <laughs> okay. Didn't you say you logged off on that like 20 minutes ago? I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I said I was going to, but then I didn't. <laughs> And now everybody's messaging me again. They were quiet for like the rest of the Death Road commentary. Now it's just a ton of messages. Wow, he opened up really well. Go ahead and go into Lady Diamond, and Lady Diamond can go ahead and grab you something back. Oh, yeah, get the search and the fuse. Okay. Hey, why not, some why not something I noticed about Lady Diamond that I didn't notice until I was BSing around with some with some stuff? What? Lady Brilliant Diamond can send herself to summon another Lady Brilliant Diamond. Oh, yeah, that's, that's so So if you really, really. If you really wanted to, you could just go ahead and summon her with her effect with uh, Brain Fusion and then just use her effect on herself and you still have her effect to summon another Gem Knight from your extra deck if you want to. Wow, I'm actually legitimately You don't even surprised. need to discard it. That he didn't use Dante. Okay, so he basically... Well, maybe he doesn't want to. No, don't give... That a, don't, don't do that look. You already know. You already know exactly what that is. <laughs> <laughs> you just killed a gem knight with a gem knight. I know, you just killed your own kind. <laughs> you murder. I wonder if I'm ever going to get that duel with uh, Mega Capital G with my rank 10 frogs. Ugh, I didn't open up that great either. I opened up like straight. So basically, we both. We both bricked, and they I mean, both opened up great. Uh, I, I have Dark Hole. I can, I, I mean, easily throw Dark Hole. And I'm just kind of wondering if there's anything else I can do right now. 
Not really, because I have Tefnuit, but after I Dark Hole, he won't have any monsters, so I can't special summon the Tefnuit. The Neftit doesn't really do anything, like, can't really summon the Neftit. I drew my freaking Paladin. My Wing Beat, I, uh, I guess I could do that, but I don't think that's necessary right now with only one set. Yeah, I'll just throw the dark hole at him. Honestly, I think that's probably the better play, because we need to get those monsters off the field, or we're in for a bad time. Yeah. That's probably Fog Blade set. I would, that would be my guess. I think the... I've actually had a game where my opponent lost because they Fog Blade a monster, and they couldn't get rid of the Fog Blade no matter what. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I can't do anything. I opened up my Labradite, my Paladin, with not my Ritual, uh, Tefnuit, Nephthit, Wingbeat. So not, well, if we're lucky, I'll fun. finally get around to drawing into a way to, nec to perform a Ritual Summon of a Necroth monster. Hopefully. <laughs> like, at least at least the, the Gemini guy is down <laughs> for a little while. He's up all the cards in his hand, so... The PK Fire player is sort of down. I mean, he only has two cards in hand now. I don't know why he's bothering okay. to return those yeah. gem knights to the graveyard. Like, did you do you have some kind of plan that I can't think of right now? Uh, if you were gonna do that, you could have at least banished your uh, your cloak and got a search. <laughs> he doesn't have a cloak. Oh wait, he does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think he should have. First, and then return. Like, like, <laughs> like okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel like such, I feel like such a troll right now. I said burial. That's a neg. Like, it's cool that you get to return some banished monsters back from your uh, banished onto the graveyard, and it's a great card, and it's at uh, it's at one, it's limited to one. But you, it's still a neg. Alright, so you search boots. Okay, I, I, I can I can perform a ritual summon, but it's not a good ritual summon. Which one is it? I'm gonna send a Star Eater from my extra deck to summon a Valk and a Calcius. That's fine. I think that's like my only play too. Let me let me see. Yeah, it's the only thing I can really do to get monsters on the field. Cause I do not want to leave our field open any more than I have to. Yep. Do you have the new cards? <laughs> yeah, I'll say fuck Apple. No offense to anybody who likes fucking Max, but no. Please let me resolve Valkyrie. I want to get a free uh, Valk to my hand. <laughs> like, like fuck, fuck, fuck Max. No, you know what? To me, fuck. All Apple products. Like uh, Daniel's anti-Apple product. I have a PC. I have a Galaxy. Like <laughs> I don't do Apple. Hey, you Bell. Uh, should I leave? Uh, should I leave the level three ritual on the field so I can negate a potential XC or fusion play, I or should I or tribute, tribute it for a draw? Uh, I'd probably I leave it there. Okay, and I'm gonna leave it on the field and just tribute the sorcerer in my hand so I can get a free search. Parasite Fusion? Uh, I... It's a few, It's a level 1 monster from the new support that basically acts as a polymerization and a fusion substitute at the same time. Did they actually reveal it? Like, is it actually a real card yeah, yet, they... or the enemy? Yeah, it's a, it was revealed like a week or two ago. Oh, okay. Sounds good. It sounds like the card I need. <laughs> I'm gonna go so, ahead and so, try to attack. So it's a fusion sage. So you pitch it to get poly? Or is it like... Uh, no, I... One sec, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly look it up so that I can read you the exact effect. It's, it's not bad at all, but it's also not particularly good or either. Is, or is it like, on the field, it fuses with it, you can fuse with it, and you don't need poly because it fuses automatically, and then the name becomes the name, like, Fusion Sage. I'm gonna read... I mean, like, I'm gonna read you cancel. the effect... I'll read you the effect once my turn ends, which is gonna be literally right now, because I have a, a Valken hand, so he can't even touch us. Okay, so Parasite Fusionist is a level 1 insect 
dark monster with zero attack, zero defense, and it has the following effect. Cannot be used as the fusion material unless you apply the following effect. You can substitute this card for any one fusion material, but the other fusion materials must be the correct monsters. If this card is special summoned, you can fusion summon one monster from your extra deck using monsters you control as fusion material, including this card. Uh, why is it you control? Why does it have to be? Why can't it be monsters in your hand? Damn it! <laughs> I guess. I mean, as I said, it's not bad, but it's not particularly good either. Yeah. Ah, uh, I knew that was Fog Blade. <laughs> I really don't know why he bothered to negate Colossus so quickly. I know, like you couldn't read it. Whatever. Mhm. Mm I mean, now I can just go ahead and. Tr you can go ahead and tribute it and Valkyrus on your turn to get some extra draw cards. No, yeah, like, okay. Like, I'm just gonna leave Colossus there? Yeah. That's fine. I guess he really didn't want to get Also, don't be up. shy about... No, go ahead. Yeah, don't be shy about tributing my Valkyrus if you if you uh, need need to get extra cards in your hand, because I have another Valkyrus in hand. I can easily ritual okay. summon it on my turn. This might sound crazy, but I have a question. If I use Valkyrie's effect to tribute monsters in my hand to draw, and I tribute heretics, do I get to use their effects? That's tributing, right? I believe. Let me quickly read the wording. I'm 99% sure you do, but I want to quickly read the effects to be sure, okay? Because if that's the case, then yes. <laughs> you will get the effect because it says tribute it. It doesn't require them to be by another heretic monster. It doesn't specify how, and it won't even miss timing because it's mandatory. Nice. So, cute that progress on the field. I'm about to tribute and draw and get my effects. Oh. Well, I can't make any promises because he just summoned Plasma, but I'll try. Prism. Prismaru. Next turn, you can summon Gemini. Come from your hand to your target and be some kind Oh, okay. Oh, yep, yep, there goes Valkyrie. I'm not gonna. Oh, oh, he's yeah, dead. I mean, if I had Trish in my hand, I could protect Valkyrie, but I don't. I'm gonna do this just because I can. I mean, it's gonna be negated anyway, but I'm gonna try. Okay, well, you can't attack us, so. And they negate, and they quit. they leave us. Yeah, they quit. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> hey, right, well. our our decks have a little bit of synergy. Yep, just a little bit. All right, we're getting a duel. Get back. All right, another duel. Wow. I keep drawing Labradite. Shocker. Are I'm we just... about to be? Is... is it Shadals? Is he about to? Oh, we're playing Lightsworn Shadals. That's cool. No, nope. we're playing. I don't. Win. I don't know what we're playing anymore. I don't. Win. Okay, let me see if I can read this. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, so basically, it's a. What's that trap? What's that? Con... What's that counter trap that negates anything by neg... by discarding the same type of card? Uh, ultimate something. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and try to bait that out with a search. I mean, that's fine. It's nice that he vanishes, but I mean, he's still using resources. That part is, I honestly don't think I have a way to get over that thing because it can just negate anything I try to do. Yeah, Actually, I, think I can get over it no problem now because he didn't negate my search. <laughs> Just going Utopia, Utopia Lightning. <laughs> yeah, that works. Why you know what's funny? I just added that literally just before the stream because I, this deck is still being updated and I didn't have Lightning in it before this duel. You gotta get Lightning. Lightning Lightning's a monster. <laughs> I think Lightning is the number one rank four monster at this point. I think he surpassed Castell. Isn't he a rank five technically? Well, the play, the Utopia to Utopia Lightning play, has surpassed up Castell. Yeah, I think that's. Yeah, Just... that's definitely it's definitely stronger than Castell because I have won so many duels solely because I had Lightning in my extra deck. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, 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 forget the fact that it goes up to five thousand with its effects. The fact that it's a twenty five hundred Armades, like. Like, yeah, Rank 4, they just get access to our mates. One, one Easily one of the best synchro monsters in the last couple of years. Like, I think it would have been one of the best in the entire game if it had 2,500 attack points instead of 2,400. For being a Rank 5, that would be high for a Rank 5. <laughs> I mean, all right, level. It's a yeah, synchro, not... yeah, I'm at Sync 5. That's high for a Sync 5. 
What's Brio? Brio's like I'm temp twenty four. Yeah. He's a level six. I'm tempted to go into I'm tempted to go into Abyss Dweller here. Uh, I hold on to my I hold on to your resources for now. Because you don't know if the other guy what the other guy is playing. Yeah, that's why I was actually trying. That's why I was thinking about going into Abyss Dweller, just in case he's running a deck that uses the graveyard. Yeah, but then he could just throw Regeki after you take that Swift Nick, so. Or we can just see Broken Ass Terra Top. Yep, yep, yep. To be fair, Terra Top isn't really that bad. It's the fact that it normally just goes into a one card Dante without your normal summon that makes it bad. I mean. <laughs> Just you can bust out them rank threes without even conducting a normal summon. Like, all right, <laughs> go plus. plus. If, like he's, if he's playing Junichi, <laughs> we're done. Like, <laughs> we're gonna get wrecked. It's not as well to go like plus five if he's playing Junichi or Zodiac Beast. I wonder well, what's weird. I know what the deck does, but I actually don't bother playing the deck just because I lost interest. <laughs> All I know is that we're 100% safe because I have a Valkyrie in hand. And also, at least he can't attack over you. <laughs> well, I mean, he can try. <laughs> oh. Never also, mind. I think he's playing Speedroid, so I think we're okay. Yeah, never mind. You don't know how refreshing that feels to actually see Takatan Borghese's effect. <laughs> it's like, oh, never mind. It's just Speedroid. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> like if it was PK like, Fire, oh shit! If it was Zodiac Beast, oh shit! No, just be right. It's actually the legitimately the deck that it's being played in. Oh shit! Okay, uh, what does this thing do? Target one wind monster in the graveyard. Like damage. Okay, that's not too bad. So he's, he's, ah, Crystal Mess. Yep. Well, I can get over that pretty easily if I can get out my. Uh, my uh, Trishula, because no way, I just remember Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon with Negate. I gotta think yeah. of a way to get over that for us. Yeah. <laughs> that is clearly, clearly a Crystal Math. Like I said, you can Valk, but you can just negate it, so. Okay, I can get I can get over it, but I'm gonna have to get my Degusto Emerald out onto the field without using my Instant Fusion in my hand. I said, no, in my luck, I'll probably either draw into one, uh, my Dark Hole or my Regeki, so we should be okay. But if not, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult. Did you see my video where I managed to kill Crystal Wing, ABC Buster, and uh, what's the third one? Never mind. No, never fucking mind. Never mind. I was like, oh, we could just throw Dark Hole Regeki at him. Never mind. I. Don't... I think we're officially dead. I think we might be fucked. I mean, Crystal Mask plus, plus uh, the Wind Witches and shit like that. The deck is so strong. Like, like, that's the last thing we need is for Crystal Meth to not be able to okay, be a card effect. Why did he... Why did he not think... I... I... Bruh! Bruh! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm officially done. I'm officially done. <laughs> I literally cannot even respond to this. I didn't even think that was... I didn't even... Oh. Okay. Oh, that hurt. So you just randomly throw that in the deck, plus number generator, because you didn't search for that, you just drew into it, like, alright. Okay, that, oh, okay, I'm feeling that one. <laughs> I'm feeling that one. Why well, no, it's even worse, that means that we can't run that thing over in the battle phase, because we can just summon a Corinne during the battle phase. Yep. Wow, oh. that's, that's I never thought of that. That is legitimately disgusting. Go ahead and think in a crystal mess. This guy has earned my respect. Oh, I think that's game. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I think we're slowly beating ourselves up in our graveyard right now, but I you have to admit that is pretty clever. I mean, I opened up pretty well too, but I just don't think there's anything I can really do. Anything that I'll go into, he could just negate with crystal mess. So. I think I might, I might be able to handle it, but I would go so neg, so. Well, if you keep in mind, the other player doesn't have any resources to speak of either. So if you can kill his field, I might be able to do something on my turn if I'm lucky. Because I do have a Manju in my hand, I do have Instant Fusion, so it's not like I don't have plays. Because I can... Special summon you, tribute off you, you will go off, you will go off. 
Like, and then I still have this play as well, so yeah, it's, it's going to take every card in my hand to handle the situation. Okay, think... that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> I think that might be our only hope, though, because if you don't, we're probably dead next turn, and if you do, I can go it all the... depends on can the other guy make a play with absolutely no resources remaining. So I do my play. Then I can do my play again, ultimate again. Then I can summon my crystal math, and then he'll have his effect negated by then. I can attack to his crystal math. His crystal math will try to gain my attack, and I'll just negate his of crystal math with my effect, with my crystal math. But wouldn't he just negate your effect with with his crystal? No, method? I'm gonna bait. I'm gonna bait the effect for the first time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I got you now. Yeah. And if that doesn't so work, gonna... I mean, we have other we have other uh, plays, but this this is about to be bad. Like if that back row stops me, then I'm just gonna be like rep GG. If that back row stops you, we're gonna have to hope that we survive with like any amount of. Why didn't you negate that? Because I hey, guess he didn't think it was a threat. So okay, I, I have I a feeling just... that face down is a stall on now. Yep. I don't know why it's white, Danny. Go ahead and negate it. Yep. Okay, that means it's not a stall on, because if it was a stall on, you would have negated your summon instead of using his crystal wing. I have no clue what any of what you just said means. It means uh, our opponent actually can think. Oh, I can actually do that, because then I can play him, and then I can tribute you, and then, yeah. Wow. You're going to go ahead and get some life points back? Wait, don't I have a number 39 in the graveyard? Yeah. Do you, you have a number 39 of lightning in your extra deck? I don't think so, because I don't do force in this, in this deck. No, I don't, because I don't have force in this deck. I can summon you. Dream. <laughs> hey, I mean, free utopia is not terrible. I would have summoned out the lightning instead of summoning out the base 39. Ah, oh, shit. I just thought he's going to blow himself up when he when he gets attacked. I couldn't select that. It didn't let me. Ah. Uh, yeah, it didn't let me at all. Oh, I forgot that it would use every card in my hand. Therefore, it means I don't have any cards in my hand to set. Then I can go into M7 and spin the, the crystal meth. Yeah, At this point, we have to get rid of those cards in any way we can to even have a chance of seeing the next turn. <laughs> That's just as best as I got right now. I mean, you can also still run over the speed right if you want to. Depends on if you're willing to gamble on that back row not being a battle trap. I'm hoping it's not, but I need to kill him. I would, wait, no. Oh, right. Oh. I forgot about that. Oh. I legitimately forgot about that. I thought it was only when it attacks. Well, we're fucked. <laughs> Why? Wow. I thought it was when only when it attacks. All right, all right. Well, we lose. The moment I saw that, my heart dropped. Wow. I'm just <sighs> like... Oh, time out anyway. Wasn't even paying attention to the bar. All right, we're getting out of duel. We're back. I fucking effective Chun Chimbara just sitting there mocking me. That we were lost anyway. <laughs> I seriously, I legitimately thought that it, it was only when it attacks. Okay, so my hand is decent. I think I might be able to give us a decent field. Do you really want to go off first turn, or do you just want to hold on to your resources? I want to hold on to my resources, but if I don't play anything, then we lit. Then, no, I'll just go ahead and end my turn because nothing in my extra deck is particularly good going first. This deck is designed to go second. Did they make us go? Play. Did they make you go first, or did you choose to go first? They made us go first. Oh, okay. And if we're lucky, they won't OTK us. Oh god, it's Miley, we're dead. <laughs> yep, yeah, are you mean not OTK us? We're, we're definitely gonna get OTK. <laughs> we already know that this deck is super strong, playing that uh, fourth burials with belongings for more sending of cubic karma. I already know that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay, why is she just attack? I guess she doesn't have three cubics in her hand. I guess not. If okay. not, then I literally don't know what on earth the issue here is. Yeah, and how, you didn't want to search with uh, with Karma first? As I said, I assume she just doesn't have three cubics in her hand. Because, I mean, why else would you ever not want to, you know, search out the big guy and then summon it? No, there it is. 
Yeah, I guess she just doesn't have three cubic. That's probably what the issue is. That must be it, because you, you should have summoned that in main phase one, attacked us with it, and then burned us again with the 3,000 in the end phase. It's so hurt so bad. <laughs> well, the fact that we're still alive indicates that she indeed bricked. No, I mean... What? This was a single duel. I have no doubt she would have sent the trap card instead of searching the... The, the monster. I mean, if that card is something to fuck me up, then it's something to fuck me up. Don't worry, I know her deck inside and out. She doesn't run any legitimate trap cards. I mean, I can use my Sue effect to pop it. Probably something like an MST. Yeah, I could use Sue, tribute off my Tefnuit, and then pop. But I think I'd rather just hold on, because I have her Axial Complication, so I can make another Ultimate, if need be. Wait, you run two of it? Yeah. Hmm. I can go on I usually only run... I only run one of it, usually. Yep. If it's a strike, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> As I said, I know her deck inside and out. She doesn't run any Solemn cards. Okay. Wow, it's probably an MST. <laughs> wow, get red. <laughs> well, that sucks. I mean, I wish it wasn't an MST, but the end result would have been the same. No, it would have been a little slightly different. You would have been a little bit better off because you could have used it to search. Yeah. Because instead yeah, before of you go pro, things is that negates. Yeah. No, no, I'm still getting my summon. <laughs> So I can attack this and nothing will happen, right? I, yeah, nothing will happen. You don't have enough cards in the graveyard for its effect to matter. And even if it did matter, you can literally just negate it, so. And Regeki. <laughs> yeah, because I got Sephira. I mean, Rhythm, you never know. And then Tefna. I mean, I could summon Tefnuit and then summon Redum, but after that, it's not too much to summon anything else. It really depends on what I draw into. I just How come I never get pre-prep? Even... <laughs> because pre-prep would be a good card, and the number generator doesn't want you to have good cards. Ah, I was close. I was close. It's like, here comes Dark Hall. I mean, Regaki. Right here you go. Dark Hall. I knew it. I knew it. Knew it. Knew it. Might as well have been Regeki because you lose everything. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, great. Dengua. Awesome. Makes you feel any better. I... Wait, what's, that, what's my hand again? I hate how I can't see my hand during your turn. Mm-hmm. I mean, you haven't done anything in the entire duel, but, I mean, him going into Dark Love will not help against Necros. Never mind. He's not. He okay, I'm gonna... Him. I'm just gonna try to go off now. More power to you. Okay, let me see... I can't do a good go off, but I can make it so that I have a live Valkyrie and a Valkyrie on the field. Okay. Wait, wait, wait! I just realized I have preparation of rights in my hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just realized I have one of the best searcher cards for Necros. All right. Yeah, but I want to use it after I have a ritual spell in the graveyard first. I really hope I draw pre-prep. <laughs> Would it make you uh, mad if I said I have that in my hand? You a pre-prep? Maybe. Bastard, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> said it. <laughs> <laughs> I would, but I was just doing that to see what your response would be. I don't actually have it in hand. Oh, I would say, dude, why would you even play that in that deck? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, some people play it because they tech in a different ritual engine. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make it so he can't search during the turn. I don't want to go into number 39, the lightning, yet, so I'm going to go into Castell. 
not pursuing any of those things. You said teaching. Hmm? I mean, no, but I'm not... Oh, I got an email saying that they have this smart scholarship. But I'm not, no. Aeronautical, astronautical engineering, bioscience, chemical engineering, chemistry, civil engineering, cognitive neutral, behavioral science, computer computational science, computer engineering, electrical engineering, GL sciences, industrial system engineering, information sciences, material sciences and engineering, mathematics. I mean, does it count? I mean, I'm going for mathematics, but I'm going for a math teacher. So does that count? I honestly lost track of what you were saying about halfway through. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, if it counts, if it counts for me, then shit, that would be awesome. I wish I tribute Valkyrie now, but I just drew into Brian Ack. <laughs> okay, let me quickly check. Do you do anything when you're banished? You do oh, nothing have... of value. Actually, never mind. No, it's not going to work because I have to get a job with the Department of Defense. I'm just going to go ahead and end my turn. I have a Valkyrie in hand. So let's see if we can get Valkyrie to stay on the field this entire turn this time. Uh, well, knowing Miley, no. <laughs> you don't Unless... know anything about her, though. Hey, hey, I know that she's playing Cubics and it's time. Just summon one, pitch a spell, summon that, uh, summon another. Wow. Pitch a karma. Okay, well, yeah, that... no, that's bad. That's bad. Nobody... <laughs> yep, it's another one. Send, send, send another one. <laughs> Get so two are we searches. Dead? I don't think we're dead, we dead but we're hurting. <laughs> yep, send another I don't one. Karmic search is not once per turn, so banish both of them. Get two searches. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I'm scared now. She just had a second one. Does that mean we're about to see double of them dropped in one turn? Possibly. <laughs> now, where's my dark color, Gecky? Huh? I don't know where it is, but I think I want to see it right now, right here. Yep. I either need that pre prep my ritual spell, a heretic monster that I can actually use for another Ultimate play. Like, there's a handful of cards that I could draw, and I'm probably going to draw them to, like, fucking nothing. You know, I have read them, but I said red them doesn't really do too much. Oh, yeah, that's, that, that's both of them. That's definitely both of them. So we're going to take 6,000 damage basically no matter what, huh? Yes. But they also take 6,000 damage. Makes you feel any better. You're, get, you're guaranteed to keep my Trish, my uh, Valkyrie on the field unless she goes into a rank 4. Yeah, and if you keep that Valkyrie, that'd be great because then I could tribute and draw. And I would love to do that. <laughs> <laughs> is no, there I any like the rank four to... is probably going to be a uh, a uh, utopia of the lightning. <laughs> Knowing her, probably Minerva. I think so. Yes, yeah, yeah, she yes, goes into Minerva more often than not because of the fact that she likes to mill and she has a lot of. See what I tell you. <laughs> Stop reading this woman. Very <laughs> <laughs> good, Minerva. That's an MST. <laughs> You can't do this to her. <laughs> oh, she needs a little combination. Well, to be fair, that's what happens when you duel someone you've been dueling for like a year. You kind of just know what they're going to do, and we're about to get hit in the face, aren't we? You can block okay, that Okay, I'm going to go ahead and keep... I'm going to make it so we can keep a Valkyrie on the field. Yeah. That's fantastic. I would love to keep that Valkyrie. <laughs> but that's going to cost us 6,000 light points, so please hey. make it worth it. They take 6,000 too, that's all that matters. As long as we both take. Now, if we only took, only us took 6,000, it'd be gay, but since we're both taking 6,000, I'm okay with it. I mean, maybe she'll turn into a rank 10, maybe like a Dora or something. Oh god, I just, I just realized that it, that it's thing unaffected by monster player. effects, so you can't block it. I thought that affected the player, not the... Oh, we're dead. We are, we're, we're dead. We're dead. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> my mistake. I did not know that it worked. I thought the, I thought the block attack affected the player. No, it, it affects the monster. I, that's why people would be running mech equip during the uh, Necros format, just so they could basically negate Valkyrus. Oh, wow. Yep, we okay, are dead. So we're, no, we're not dead yet. Our, 
No way, we are dead. We're, We're dead. dead. 6,000. <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> oh, the cubic monster is so good. No, no, end it. No, end it. <laughs> no mercy. No, not Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> Okay then. I don't have any response to that last part. So I guess you're gonna make a rank 10 play? Cause that's the only thing. Cause that burn effect is mandatory. Fuck that yeah, shit. Yeah, probably a rank, <laughs> probably a rank 10 play. Knowing her, most likely super dreadnought rail cannon. I say probably. I I mean. Oh, for the first time this duel, I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> just a fucking spider that's so fucking strong like all right <laughs> oh, God. well i mean at least we get one more turn i might be able to top deck into something let's make it regret make her regret the fact that she didn't kill us <laughs> that'd be nice she wouldn't give us another turn if she didn't have a if she didn't have a follow-up play that's the sad part ah yes <laughs> exactly what i asked for i was like where the fuck are my pre preps now please make it work, especially since we're gonna take six hundred damage every time we special summon anything. Oh, true. I forgot about that. That's uh, probably why she went into that over Super Dreadnought Cannon, because if we summon a bunch of monsters to try to out her field without triggering that, that trap card in her graveyard, where she'll burn us for a boatload of damage. Ow. And the gap gets wider and wider. One of it's sad, the, hot, the wider the gap, the stronger her monsters are gonna get. Yep. I gotta do one more special summon. And I don't have any spells, I can't go into another- Well, I can't go up tonight, but it would do nothing. I can go into M7, spin back the Tarantula, and run over the Manira. That should work, although how are we gonna get rid of the- 5600 booty that is a giant tarantula. M7, I'll spin it back to the extra deck. Ah, that works. Okay, okay. and how are you going to get rid of the, of the Minerva without triggering its ability? I, I can't do that. <laughs> but what about the Unison? Because doesn't that work when any monster is killed? What? No, it, no it's, only, it's only when a cubic is killed, so we should be okay. Oh, okay. And another 600. You know what the sad thing is? The fucking opponent has- what? The other partner hasn't done anything. He's literally just dark hold and summon the shadow mist, so... <laughs> like, we should be dead yeah, right so... now. I mean, she could've killed us if she wanted to. Yep. Yeah, I could do that. Then I could do that. But what does that do? Like, really, that do? would just be more damage. I was thinking I could go into Gaia Charger and then I have Redum, so then I could summon the Redum off the Gaia Charger and then he could the Redum can summon back another dragon, but there's really no dragons for me to really summon right now. I think I can summon one of my heretic monsters. Can't summon back my crystal mass. Yeah, you have to synchro summon into it first if you want to special summon it back because that's how Yu-Gi-Oh works. It cannot be it must be special summoned by sending the two, so it cannot be special summoned by other ways. Nope. So, should I just attack with You're M7 and hope, it's, and hope it stays? Yeah. Because at least if M7 stays, he gets some kind of benefit. Gotta kill the Minerva. Give her place. Well, I don't think she runs any light sworn, so we should be okay. Is that just more mills? Did she mill anything good? Let's see what she made a bottomless, the monster reincarnation, and her third, uh, that level four, the guy, uh, the fourth thing. Yeah, dude, yeah. All right. All right, hero player, go ahead. I think you still have resources. <laughs> it's a long video. We probably should have stopped after the second duel, but I felt salty. <laughs> well, now we're in a duel where I get to read my opponent's mind. <laughs> we shouldn't be. <laughs> Celtic Guardian, now leave us alone, Danny. 
Come on, hero player. Come on. You literally just summoned the Shadow Mist and then poked for a thousand. Everybody's been doing nice plays in this duel except for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we have to make an unbreakable board that she can't get around. <laughs> wow. She's, I think this hero player just bricked. Yeah, this hero player really so basically, didn't Basically, this entire duel has been us fighting against one person. Yep. I mean, having my Crystal Mass and stuff would have helped, but he just has a Feather Dark Hole at me. You can use yeah, M7. I can, put the next... I can use M7 to put a Necros back in my hand. Yep. Let's see if there's anything worth putting back in my hand first, because I literally have nothing of value in my hand. I have a Hat Tricker, a Brian Act, and a Preparation of Right. Well, can't you mm. use the Brian at, get a search, then use the preparation of rights, grab the Brionic back, and search for... Oh, I just thought, spell. I just thought, I just thought of something. I'm gonna... Uh, okay, uh, don't talk for a sec. I gotta do this perfectly, or we are dead. I mean, we're probably dead anyway, because... One thing, one thing my, my friend's good. If she says she's gonna kill you on the next turn, you're probably dead on the next turn. Okay, we'll go ahead and add... Colossus to our hand so we can add a ritual spell to our hand and just because I want to not go minus We're gonna go ahead and add necros cycle to our hand Now we're gonna use your m7 in order to put back Valkyrie into our hand Because I highly doubt that's a flip effect monster If it's a flip effect monster we deserve to lose this duel I can't say anything. You said don't speak. <laughs> you can say it now. I got all the combos in my hand. Alright. So, can you at least prevent her from killing us next turn? I can, tr I can try. I literally don't... I, my only plan is to try to, is to summon number 39 the lightning so she can't run us over. That works. Then just don't use as a fact so you don't go up to... 5,000, but if she comes after you, you can go up to 5,000. That would work. We're at 35. That is literally... That's literally the <laughs> only way I can make sure that we don't die. How sad is that? I'm trying to think if there's any other way we can die. Are we, mean, just, are we just complicating ways that we're going to die? Yes. I mean, I'm just looking at our life, and I'm like, we're at 35. <laughs> we're at 35. <laughs> If we're under 3,000, then rip, but... So, are you gonna, like, tribute off okay, the Valkyrie? Okay, so I'm gonna summon a... I'm gonna tribute with Valkyrie in the main phase, too. I'm gonna try to go for as much damage as we can. Alright, yeah, tribute off the Valkyrie and the M7. Draw two cards. M7's pretty much useless at this point, and you don't want to leave that in attack position on the field. What? The... <laughs> Okay, so we have to attack it three times. Wow. <laughs> I feel doing that. <laughs> okay, so can someone tell me what the heck is going on? Is this 2007 or something? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it saved them. It saved them. I think if we would have gotten that, all that damage and she would have done her 3,000 burn, it might have been a draw. I think we're gonna die in the next turn. I see no way for us to. I'm sad. <laughs> Dude, it's so annoying. Like, <laughs> all, do all you all you do is block attacks. <laughs> so Valk tribute. That seems to be the entirety of this guy's plan. Is just keep blocking our attacks until we either rage quit or his partner literally does the entire duel for him. Seems like it. This video is long enough. Hey, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to keep us alive, okay? Hey, we're dead duelists walking right now. I have nothing to say. <laughs> we should be dead. I just want to make her regret not killing us. I drew into a Valkyris. That's completely worthless. So how bad are we about to die? I mean, because he has that level 4 speed right? She could just summon the level four, go into Castell, spin that away, then summon her boss monster and kill us. 
I know her deck. All her level fours are in the graveyard. Okay. So. <laughs> oh God. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're dead. We're dead. Beca because because he blocked that attack. Because he blocked all those attacks. We're dead. Wow. Because Wing Shield and the Speed Lord Menko. Well, I don't think the Speed Lord Menko would have done much of a difference. But that that's that Wing, though. Because if we would have gotten all that damage, and she would have summoned both the monsters, and we both would have got burned for 6,000 during the end phase. Uh, well, but, what do you mean battle? What? You can kill us by battle? He... Is she claiming she can kill our monster with 5,000 attack points and... Oh, right. Oh, gosh. She must have cubic aura. Cubic aura. She can half our attack points and double hers. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> well, GG. Uh -huh. Oh, GG. <laughs> uh, just burn it. <laughs> just burn it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, I mean, this was a fun experience. Ah, and you thought you were going to be cute. <laughs> I mean, when did you... It was, when, it was, what? when it was worse, Cubic Aura can just negate our number 39 from the graveyard, so... Yep. So we can't even go up to 3,000. <laughs> what do you mean, we can't even become 5,000? Oh, yeah, when we just go up to 5,000? Isn't it double the attack, or do we shoot up to 5,000? We just become 5,000. Yeah, let's just become 5,000. So we're dead anyway. <laughs> wow. So it didn't matter. I thought that she was going to try to burn us out, but she didn't even need to do that. Oh, that other guy, he he got carried like a son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we got... We got Trump... <laughs> we you got you said it! It's all your fault. Yeah, you know, Deathbringer Miley comes in and <laughs> we're going to get fucking raped. <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> Uh, well, at least she lives up to her name, right? Uh, if only I didn't get Dark Hold and kept my Crystal Meth, it would have been okay. Crystal Meth would have been the perfect answer to her. Who she wouldn't would have, have done, done against... anything because what? her monsters activated. It's immune to activated effects. So if you went ahead and tried to double your attack, it wait, is it affect it's the monster? It's by other effect, like... No, I I would get okay. her attack. So only Crystal Meth being affected. So she pretty much couldn't attack over my Crystal Meth with her big deities. Because that would always be stronger. Yeah, but she also had the cubic aura in her hand. She could have just negated your effect anyway and attacked that way. Oh, true. But that was later yeah, in the duel. <laughs> like, I got Dark Hold on turn, turn one. one. Did she have it on turn she one? Opened up. She had cubic aura since the very first time she revealed her hand. Oh, okay. No, you were fucked. Uh... Anyway, I think that's enough for one video. Yep. All right, we're done. Thank you, Alexis, for joining us. Anytime. I'll make sure that next time Deathbringer doesn't pop up. No, oh, it's fine. It's fine. Thank you, Deathbringer, for destroying us. <laughs> Cub <laughs> Cubics aren't dead. They're not crap. They're actually a pretty good deck. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, see you guys tomorrow with more Daily Duels. Episode 990. People, start the countdown. All right. Thanks for watching. I shall start the countdown now. <laughs>